Hello and welcome to this special breaking edition of the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis with COVID. Look, I've got my tests right here. I am certified, well, no, you can't see it, certified COVID. But nothing is going to stop me breaking this insane news because on my Twitter timeline, put 12 minutes ago, I see Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful.com tweeting, word inside the wrestling world is that Cody Rhodes could be leaving AEW and joining WWE. Regardless of his intent, we're told to expect an announcement soon. And then, boy howdy, the announcement has come out. So, AEW Wrestling themselves have, you know what? It's time for some production. Let's share this screen. Look at this. Look at the amazing production right here. AEW have tweeted, thank you, Cody and Brandy Rhodes. So I guess Brandy's gone as well. Let's take a look at this statement. Uh, Cody, and that has not made it any larger for my eyes to read. Let's make that larger for me. Cody and Brandy Rhodes were integral to the launch of All Elite Wrestling. Their founders, or Cody is, Cody's ability combined with his boldness and his passion for our industry and his love for community outreach helped AEW deliver on our mission to give fans what they needed for far too long. Far too long? The, the way I'm reading it makes it sound like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been with us for far too long. <laughs> That's not what they're intending. To have some good faith up in here. Something new, innovative, and lasting. Well, I suppose the legacy of Cody's outreach will be lasting. Not necessarily Cody. Brandy helped us shape the AEW story. And I appreciate how hard she fought for us both in the ring and out of the ring, competing in the women's division, while advancing our efforts at inclusion and civic causes, including great partnerships with Culture City and the American Heart Association. Yeah, Nightmare Collective. Who have we got standing still? Brandy was in it. Awesome Kong was in it. Luther was in it. And someone else. It wasn't Chris Statlander. Was it Shanna? There are now far more important things afoot. Who was in the Nightmare Collective? Not the Nightmare family. The more, the more important ones. Okay. A WrestleTalk.com article from two years ago. Mel. Brandy, Awesome Kong, Luther, and Mel. Cannot remember who she is. No disrespect. I have immense respect and appreciation for Cody and Brandy, and I wish them both the best as they move on from AEW. Thank you, Cody and Brandy. The message from Tony Khan with a very long title, CEO, President, General Manager, and Head of Creative, All Elite Wrestling. So, right. Cody, his contract, we know, expired in late December, it seems, or maybe very, very early January. Regardless, he announced through, you know, dirt sheet means that he is essentially working as a free agent. He was still an executive vice president of All Elite Wrestling, but his performer's contract, we so thought, was now at an end. But we all assumed it was kind of a done deal. AEW airs on TNT, part of Warner Media. They have TBS as well. And Cody has two shows, neither of which are AEW, that exist on there. He is a judge on The Go Big Show, a show, a talent show, not about encouraging Paul White, and also Roads to the Top, a reality series with his wife, Brandy, that has just been commissioned for a second series about him. And his family, being a wrestler, it's Ms. and Mrs., the AEW version. But does that show work when Cody leaves AEW, which he just has, and could be bound elsewhere, as in 
elsewhere to their main competitor? Would TBS or TNT air a program about the guy who used to be one of their promotion's biggest stars now trying to get back into WWE? I don't think so. To me, that says the second series could be scrapped. If Cody goes to WWE, maybe he wouldn't. This also says that Cody is no longer an executive vice president of AEW. So, to catch you up, Tony's the head honcho, and then AEW was built with the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and Cody Rhodes. They were the executive vice presidents. EVP, it sounds more than it is. I, d- I doubt they had any financial share in the company. Uh, Cody leaving would make that a lot more complicated. It was a executive function in the company, which means they are in charge of areas. They have executive power over some decisions. It's the order of command. My friend works for a bank, and they have literally thousands of EVPs. It's a very large bank. But it just when I heard that, I was like, oh, EVP might not mean everything I thought it once did. Anyway, Cody cannot presumably be a EVP still on this statement. This seems it is a goodbye beyond just a performer leaving the company, which would make Matt, Nick Jackson, and Kenny Omega the remaining EVPs. There have been long-standing rumours, dating back a year, a year and a half, that Cody, once tight with his elite brethren, always Bullet Club for, 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 for life, has grown distant from them. And you can see that on the programming. While Kenny and the Bucks, they're a faction together. They've got their whole elite verse. Here's Jay White. Here's Adam Cole. Here's Hangman Page. They've got their own universe within AEW. And then you've got Cody, who exists in a very different realm of his own, where he does bonkers things. Bonkers things that I enjoy. Bonkers things that I think gives AEW a totally different edge to the sort of indie, riffic, New Japan, well-thought-out storytelling that comes from other parts of the promotion. I like the zaniness. I think there is a place for Shaq wrestling in a tag match on Dynamite. But that is not something I see without Cody. Cody really is the, the, the lead guy of that zany style of wrestling sports entertainment, just like his dad. And I mean that with the greatest possible respect. So Cody, yeah, but those that division was not just an on-screen character division. There were rumors that they just don't hang out as much anymore. And Cody himself has said in interviews, like, yeah, you know, well, you know, we just don't hang out as much. They are doing their thing. I'm doing my thing. There's no hate there. It's just, you know, we've grown in different directions. And you cast your mind back to the start of the pandemic. And it was Cody, Kenny. Can't remember if the Bucks were there. But they were in the ring. And they did that first March 20-something show where there, were no, where there was no fans in Daly's Place because the pandemic had just hit. And people were staying at home. This was behind closed doors. And Cody addressed an empty arena. And they seemed pretty tight there. All those guys were about to have the first version of War Games, Blood and Guts. That got postponed for a year. Another group of people did that in a different story. Instead, Cody, te- I'm pretty sure, no, Cody wasn't with them. Cody wasn't in the stadium stampede. It was the Bucks, Omega, Page and Matt Hardy. <clears throat> so even that part of my idea is gone. But yes, good Lord. You are now watching a guy oogling recent developments of a story because it literally only broke three minutes before I hit record on this video. Let's go over to WrestleTalk.com. Make WrestleTalk.com your homepage. There is loads of breaking news there. Written by Andy Datsun. Uh, So we have a statement from Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, whose name is now AEW Community Outreach. 
as his Twitter handle. Oh, you know. Let's share the screen. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at the production. Dear God. So this is from Cody Rhodes's official Twitter handle. There's there's a verified tick, one million followers. He's the right guy. So let's have a look at his statement. I have loved my time at AEW. Amazing locker room, amazing fans, amazing people. The revolution was indeed televised. and I've been incredibly lucky to be part of that. First, I want to thank Tony Khan. He's taken the bat on and run with it, and it was an honour to work with him and to know him on a personal level. He's a beautiful soul. Obviously need to thank my incredible wife and the mother of my baby girl, Brandy, for all her love and support throughout this journey together and the amazing relationship she fostered with Culture City and the American Heart Association. I also need to thank Nick and Matt Jackson. These two, whether they know it or not, took an undesired and not confident little cub and gifted me the confidence to become a leader of the pack. Kenneth Omega, Chris Jericho, Chicken? We started the fire. Who's chicken? Am I missing out on a being the elite joke there? I must thank Tim with Keith. M. Greg. No, not Tim with Keith. Tim's Tim W. Keith. M. Greg? W? Oh, no. Tim W. Keith M. And Greg W. Whoever those guys are. And the amazing production crew who understood and captured the vision with such grace, probably in the technical side of things. I can't name everybody, but thank you to Mega, Margaret, Harrington. That's, uh, oh, I can't remember his first name, but he's the, Chris Harrington. He's AEW stats guy. One of one of Tony Khan's real backstage first hires. Jeff Jones, uh, Dana, Tony, Shivani, Byrne, Raf, and the hardest worker in the game. Your favorite darts player and mine. QT Marshall, for propping me up and kicking me in the ass when I was running on fumes. I must thank all my kiddos, MJF, Jade, Sammy, Darby, Lee, Ricky, Tom, The Guns, Brock, Velvet, Nyla, Aubrey, Turner, Vanilla, Solo, Spears, Julia, Anna, Will, Wardlow, Sonny, Fuego, one. And of course, minus one. Yeah, because Fuego, two would be Cody. Uh, while we're all at it, give Jade the Cody Vader. It's the Cody Vader. So that's presumably a move? Or is it his way of burying younger talent? Oh, the Cody Vader is the mechanism he comes up through the stage. Neither a heel nor a face. He comes through the middle. Uh, yeah, sure, give Jade that. That's generous. Also need to take a moment to thank the great partners at Warner Media, including Brett, Sam, and the rest of the team. I have so many milestones and beautiful memories of this renaissance through sweat, blood, tears, literal fire. Yeah, I suppose pyro and all that. I left it all on the mat. Everything pales in comparison to the final contribution I was empowered to lead at the company, the community outreach team. In the most inward moments, your outward behavior and your ability to take flame, fame, influence and do something of value for the communities you visit, whether the cameras are on or off, is the highest honor. I am confident Amanda Huber will lead the department with style. Amanda Huber, of course, John Huber, Brody's uh, widow. I'm so proud of my creations and contributions and the items I supported or collaborated on with such wonderful professionals. Thank you, fans. Y'all did the work. Let's live forever. Where's Arn Anderson's name? Am I missing something? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Not see Arn Anderson or Dustin Rhodes. You know, when I think of Cody, I of course think those people. And it, what a testament to the guy, all the people he sort of helped on the way up, MJF, Jade, Sammy, Darby. Um, but, yeah, like, I think Dustin Rhodes, I think um, Arn Anderson. Huh. Well, maybe, you know, don't have to thank everybody. I'm sure he thanks them personally. Uh, what are people saying? There is zero chance Cody is actually leaving. It's a work, folks. <laughs> um. So, yes, this is bizarre. Andrew Zarian is reportedly reporting, reportedly reporting, that Cody's team have been in contact with WWE. On the Wrestling Observer radio this morning, Dave Meltzer said, 
well, you know, most of the topic of conversation backstage was Stone Cold coming to WWE for WrestleMania at Raw, but then also that Cody, hey, he still hasn't signed his contract. Maybe he could come to WWE. And and then they sort of got into this fascinating discussion where it is a bit like, how much money would WWE throw at Cody Rhodes to make him the first high-profile com- uh What's the word? Defection from AEW to WWE. Because right now, it's just been one-way traffic. It's been CM Punk, Brian Danielson, Adam Cole, Keith Lee. People are choosing AEW over WWE. You could sign an MJF, or you could sign this person or that person or a Chris Jericho. But holy hell, Cody Rhodes, founder of the company, one of the promotion's biggest stars, executive vice president, only just held the interim TNT title. Well, actually, no, he had the proper one, didn't he? Still, the point remains. I think he might not make it back in time for the Royal Rumble 2022 surprise return, but goddamn, WWE have a lot of money, more money than they've ever had at any point in their history. Wouldn't you spend a cool five mil or above to hit AEW where it hurts? Ladies and gentlemen, we are in an exciting phase of the wrestling war. Cody is gone from AEW along with Brandy. But do you think he will go to WWE? He's got roads to the top to think about. He's got wrestling fans to think about who would not be kind to him. Not that they were that kind to him when he was on Dynamite, being booed as a babyface either. Brandy has also just tweeted a statement. It's pretty much the same Culture City, Special Olympics, Illinois, American Heart Association, all the work she did for uh, the outreach programs, including AEW Heels. Is that still a thing? That was their all-women's fan group community venture that they were pushing at the same time as not really serving their women's division. Um, She thanks Dustin Cutie, Barry Lynn, Lever Bates, uh, and also her husband and TNT, TBS, Warner Media, Tony Khan. She moves forward with her daughter and this quote in mind, we must take time to define our own path. Too quickly, we can find the world defining it for us. Uh, So, also, she quotes Michael Scott from The Office. I'll see you on the flippity flop. Flippity flop. New Brandy Rhodes gimmick in WWE confirmed. Let me know in the comments down below. Hot damn. I mean, I'm sad. I love Cody. Unironically. And now he's not in... AEW. It's going to be a weird AEW tonight, but we did say they had too many people on their books. I didn't expect this was the person they'd get rid of. Last thing before I get out of here, Dustin Rhodes, Cody's brother, has tweeted, no, I am not leaving. I like it here in AEW. Make of that what you will. Did Cody leave because he didn't like it in in AEW? Uh, yeah. Well, let me know in the comments down below and please do subscribe as well. Thanks for listening to a guy in his bedroom. Well, kitchen lounge. Just talk nonstop about this crazy news. Road to WrestleMania. Cody can have a feud with the big show. No, he's in AEW as well. God damn it. Subscribe down below, please. I love you. Jam the